Ahoy, me hearties! Today we be embarking on a grand adventure into the world of Bluebeam. We'll be exploring the ancient power of overlay, a technique as old as the seas themselves. True, it be a bit of a throwback to the days of light tables and printed plans, but still as useful today as a trusty compass. So don your dive gear and let's dive right in. First, we need to chart our course by opening up our drawings in Bluebeam. If you have your pages separated like I have, it'll make our voyage smoother. With our maps in hand, navigate to the top of your screen and select Document from the menu bar above. Then choose Overlay Pages from the list. Here's where the magic happens. Bluebeam will prompt you to select the sheets you wish to overlay. Feel free to add as many as you need, but for this tutorial, we'll keep it simple. Next, you can choose the color for each sheet's overlay. This part can be trickier than navigating through a storm, so I recommend setting a standard that makes sense for your crew. I myself follow the tried and true National CAD standard, a map that's never led me astray. Now, we must tell Bluebeam where to align our sheets. Select Align Points from the menu on the starboard side. Choose points that'll be easy to remember and find across all your sheets. I prefer intersecting grid lines, but any clear reference will do. Click on your first point with the left mouse button and repeat the process for the next two points. Bluebeam will automatically prompt you for the points on the following sheets. So no need to worry about foul anchors. Once this task be completed, Bluebeam will be ready to create a brand new document with your overlays in the chosen colors. Each overlaid sheet will be organized into layers, which you can toggle on and off as needed from the layers menu on the port side of the Bluebeam toolbar. But we won't be venturing into those murky waters today. Now, save your treasure, and as always, stay nerdy, me hearties. This be your captain, signing off.